short break. We were continuing with our number here, and so we were finding uh, 6 times 4. I take it that you don't know what is 6 times 4, so I'm helping even that person who doesn't know it well. So I was letting you know how can we easily find 6 times 4. So we were adding our 4, 4 after each, so that we can find what is 6 times 4. So on 12, when you add on uh, 4, you, we've got 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we get 16. Then on 16, add on 4, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We get 20. Add on 4, you will get 24. So it means that we want 4 times 6, it is here. After they are divided by 1. When we divide by 1, we automatically get that very number which is equal to 24. So that is our working. It is very good that you put all your equal signs in one line. Then after there, you draw a line or two lines down here for you to have neat work. Avoid reducing from the first step because in case you fail from here, how to reduce well, you lose all the marks. But at least here, you get this mark. Hey, maybe possibly you may fail here and at least you don't lose all of them. So, um, I'm going to try a, uh, one extra number concerning that one. But I think that one is very simple. Uh, when you read the question number two, and number three, then number four, the other same. So what you do, you are going to use the same idea. Always to find a second number or the number missing. If in a question you are given lowest common multiple and greatest common factor plus one other number, you use the same formula and then work out the number correctly. Um. During our break, someone has told me that they have not fully understood this number one. They need one extra example. But um, my director will tell me whether I give them some extra time or uh, we just continue. We shall get to know. So, let's have question number, number four. Number three will be tried by children. So, let's do number four. Question number four. Question number four. When we try to read it together, it is saying that the lowest common multiple of two numbers is 12 and their greatest common factor is 6 if one of the numbers is 3 find the second number still the same second number equals to LCM multiplied by the GCF Divided by the given number. Go back to your question. After stating the formula, you want to substitute now the information. Jump a line. Say equals. In the same line. Mm -hmm. The lowest common multiple of two numbers is 12. It means that our LCM here we substitute is 12 times or multiplied by. Let's find a GCF. And their greatest common factor is 6. Now divide by which number is given? Continue. You're saying that if one of the numbers is a 3, ah, so that's one of the numbers. Three. Find the other number. So from here, don't reduce from that step. Come. 
say equals 12 multiplied by 6 divided by 3 with multiplication you are allowed not to first of all multiply this then you divide you are allowed to reduce the denominator with any of these numbers and then after get the product with multiplication only but if there was addition here don't do so instead you you would first of all these numerators and then after divide but with the multiplication you are free to to reduce then after find a product and so here i will have by three is one by three is a two and so i'm remaining with 12 times two divided by one 12 times two you may not know go have your multiplication table it solves the numbers very fast this one will be now 12. now 12 times 2. now there are numbers which are too big like 12. you to count 12 add on 12 it may take you a lot of time now what you do still have another side work somewhere have now 12 12 times 2 is like now 12 plus 6. 12 add this is four this is it two so it is equal to 24. If I had another another way, I now add 12 on this. So I've got 24 as my final answer. At this step here, if you do not want to reduce from there, you could also come and find what is 12 times 6, then divide by 3. However, because of time, I'm going to use that one method and we go to the next one so we are finishing uh, we are ending on that concept we are ending on that question number three you'll try it and send it to me on my whatsapp number there that you're seeing ending with 38 uh, and i will let you know whether you are right or wrong let's go to uh, our next question number five Number five. Producer, you put number five for us. Yeah. Let's read it together. People who are attending to our lesson today. It is saying that two bells ring at intervals of 30 minutes and 40 minutes respectively. To change the lesson in top quality junior school gango there were two bells they ring at different intervals but the intervals are 30 minutes and 40 minutes respectively now question part a it is saying that after how many minutes will they ring together you see some people look at questions and they say oh jesus you decided to bring here the satan on earth these are the simplest questions that you should always attempt to, and they are very simple. So from today, no failing these questions. After me discussing for you here at Delta TV, make sure that you look for more questions from PLE Question Banks relating to these ones that we've discussed, so that uh, you have more practice, more practice. And I've decided to be picking the, the most questionable areas of PLE to bring and discuss with you, discuss with you like that. So, make sure that you don't miss our lessons every day that I come here. So now, part A is saying that after how many minutes will they ring together? What we do, we find LCM of the given intervals. We find LCM of the given intervals. And so, for you to find the lowest common multiple of 30 and 40, there are very many methods that we can use 
uh, we can use the ladder method, we can use, there are very many, but for me, I'm going to use this one, which I think is very easy for everyone. And so, uh, I'll write and say M, then I put a 30 here. I've written mathematically that multiples of 30 equals, I'm going to close the, to open the curly bracket like that. Now, the multiples of 30, we begin with that very number, we say, come on. If you don't know how to do it, the first one, if the first one is 30, the next one will be 30 plus 30. This one will give you zero here when we add, and so this one will be a six. A six. So it means that the next multiple here will be 60. Come. To find the next multiple, I'll add more 30 on 60 now. So it will be zero. Six plus three, you have six, seven, eight, nine. And so I get nine. It means that the next multiple here is 90. On 90, add 30. It is like a multiplying. Now, when I add, I will get 0. Now, 9 plus 3, I will get 12. I've got 1, 2, 0. If I continue to add 30, I'll get 0 here, 2 plus 3 is equal to 5, then a 1, and so I'll have 150. These ones are endless, so we use 3 dashes to show that they are endless. I close the curry bracket. I come now and also find the multiples of 40 equals. Jump a line here to, to be neat. Jump a line and then write multiples of 40. Please don't write that M40. This is wrong. Don't write 40M. This is wrong. You must write multiples of 40 like that. Emphasize that. And so we are going to find also the multiples of 40. We shall begin with the 40 itself. 40 plus 40 to get the next one. 40 plus 40. I'll have 0. 4 plus 4 is equal to 8. And so it is 80. On 80, I did a 40. You'll have 0. 8 plus 4 will be 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I've got 12. So I'm getting 120. I may not even continue. Because I've seen that there is some number which is here and also here. Which number is that one? It is 120. So I may add another another multiple or I may not add. Because it is now no, no more need. But let me add just for formality. So it will be 40 again. This will be 0 and this and that. Will be a 6, 1. So it is 160, dash, 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 close the brackets, the curry brackets. So we've seen that we have this number 120 common in the two multiple uh, sets. Therefore, it is taken to be the LCM, which is 120. Back to our equation. It is saying is that two bells ring at intervals of 40, of 30 minutes and 40 minutes, respectively, to change the lesson at top quality in your school. Now, after how many minutes will they ring together? Since the 120 is the common multiple, for the two numbers, it means that if the vehicles moving, one is moving 30, another is moving 40, they will meet at a point of 120. There are four. 
Mathematically, when you write like that, you have said there are four. So there are four. They will ring. They will ring together after. This is side work. Don't put there any more work to be dirty. After 120 minutes. You see the question you were fearing? Most of you fear this question and it is very common in section B. What is it? They have given us in minutes and so they wanted you to say, they also to give after how many minutes. So you say they will ring together after 120 minutes. But in most cases, in a case we brought our question and said that we've given you minutes, minutes, and then we said that after how long you are advised to convert the minutes you've got to hours. If we'd not said that after how many minutes, but instead we say after how long you convert a given time, this one that you have got to hours. But this time the question is after how many minutes. So you have to leave there. So these bells will ring together after 120 minutes. Part B of the question. Part B of the question. Producer, you may put part B. If they ring, if they rang, if they rang at 11 a.m., part B, if they rang at 11 a.m., at what time will they ring together again? They're asking that if these bells, they rang at once, at 11 a.m., again after how long, uh, at what time will they ring again, again? So what you do, you get the time they rang together, You're going to add on the minutes or the time at which they run together. This time they are saying that if they run at this time, then after how long will they ring again together? Actually, it is very good for you to begin by uh, convert. This time you have got to hours. So if one hour, since we are taking two hours, say, uh, if 60 minutes equals to one hour if 60 minutes equals to one hour how about when i have 120 minutes they will equal to what they will be equal to 120 divided by 60 so by zero zero and zero can be reduced now 12 divided by six there is a battle. People can't divide. Twelve divided by six. If you don't know, go and draw your multiplication table of six and see where do you find twelve. Here will be six. Using the other method I taught you on number on the other previous numbers, you will find that here you will add a six to get what is here. So we shall get twelve. To get the next one. On 12, add on 6, you'll get 18. But for us, we wanted to know what is 12. Divide by 6. So, on my multiplication table of 6, where am I finding 12? I'm finding 12 here. The answer will be that one, which is 2. So, it means that 120 minutes are equal to 2 hours. There are four. They will ring together at this one ought to be here, but uh, I don't want to rub the other work before you compare the working together. So they ring together or they ring together at now you get the 11, the time at which they are 
talking of in the question you add on the two hours two hours if written the hours now have to be here because this this time is not having any minerals so at the, on the side of the minerals we are going to say zero zero then in the two you put it where there so now let's add we shall have zero zero this plus that is three this and that is one now that time is in 24 hour clock uh, eh, here we were adding this is in hours now it is very good that tea allow me rub this it is very good that uh, you change you take back that time to the 12 hour clock by now saying uh, 13 zero zero subtract 12 zero zero I want now to take it the normal time you understand so this time that I've got is that one I'll now convert back to the other one by subtracting 12 zero zero this will be zero zero three minus two I'll get one and one minus one is zero uh, it has got to that time so what is this time in form of the 12 hour clock it will be now a p m so they will ring together again at 1 p m so you are very free not to put this zero here but mathematically it's okay so uh that is our question you will try to go to question banks of PLE and uh, you, you get more questions that are related to this, then you discuss. In case you find any difficulty, uh, we may communicate and I guide you. So, uh, we are going to our last concept. Uh, before we end, uh, time, you see for us we work concerning, I mean, uh, putting time in mind. We've got very many questions. Uh, some of them, I've not done them, but I want you to go and try them. The producer is going to help us put those questions there. Uh, you copy them. And then after, you'll send them to me via WhatsApp. I help you to know whether you've got it right or not. Uh, our time is telling us that we should do. end. Number one had those questions there. Uh, you put for them the number one, they copy some few questions. Uh, then number two, we've done it. Uh, let's have number three on board. Uh, then, yeah, so they will, you'll do more of number one. Then that number four, you'll do it. I'll guide you. Uh, as we conclude, we promise to deliver to you a uh, very good service as Delta TV. I know uh, that we, you, we, you can sit there and you understand even if you are not together with us in the studios. I'm a very good teacher who will really help you and you make it. So what you do, make sure that you reach us on our WhatsApp, not via calling, you reach us on our WhatsApp and then we guide you. Another day we shall meet. I'm Tia J. from Top Quality Junior School.